Good morning. It is Friday, July 22nd, day eight. Woo! We're going to do about 10 miles today, 1,500 feet ascent and 1,750 descent. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too bad. The descent is in the afternoon, though, and we're getting a late start because we let ourselves sleep in, and we slept until 7, no, sorry, 6.30. Woo! So... It's going to be a good day. Sun is shining. Should dry up all the rain. Lots of rain last night. Yes, it poured, and we actually had a little bit of a hailstorm, too. It's so, so cool. Glad we had the shelter. First yeah. night in the shelter. Cool. See ya. We are headed to Chairback Gap Lean-To, so about 10 miles today. It is one soggy morning. Everything is wet. All the rocks and roots are wet, which makes them super slippery. I've already had one fall. Mom zero falls. <laughs> How's your knee feeling from yesterday, Mom? It's feeling so much better. The good night's sleep early did a lot. The uh, leave didn't help or didn't hurt at all either. So I think just getting off my feet and resting, getting about 11 hours of sleep. Help a ton. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna keep pushing on today. We'll stop for breakfast um, here shortly. Greta is saving our lives this morning and getting rid of the cobwebs as she walks along the trail. I have taken like at least 10 to the face. <laughs> Woo! Woo! As of the making of this video, you guys have collectively donated $14,610. <laughs> Woo! Uh, towards Appalachian Trail for Parkinson's disease in the hopes of finding a cure for Parkinson's disease through the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. So thank you, thank you so much for your continued support um, in helping us toward our goal of $50,000 total raised. Um, if you'd like to help support us, there's a link in the description below. So click on that, donate whatever you're able to. It's five or 5,000. We appreciate any amount, but thank you. Thank you so much for everybody for your continued support. We really appreciate it. Now that we have been out here this long, we are truly starting to see the effects of not showering for eight days. <laughs> um, you can see it and you can smell it for sure. Um, I've heard kind of when you wake up in the mornings, um, I've heard people describe it as bed cheese. Mm -hmm. So that kind of film almost that you have all over your skin, that's just like slimy and grimy and gross. We have that at all times, <laughs> times like five. So it's pretty nasty, but we're starting to get used to it unfortunately. Uh, but we'll get to a shower in about three days when we get to Monson, Maine, so. Okay, um, I just wanna add that um, when I soak my feet in a stream, that I rinse my arms and face off, and that helps a ton. Maybe splash them in my crazy hair to kind of calm that down a little bit, which doesn't. And then Greta was brilliant and brought along a very small pack of Huggies wipes, which we- Little used, baby wipes. Baby wipes. They were using very sparingly, maybe every other day or every third day, but that helps a ton too. Overall, we're pretty nasty. <laughs> and definitely looking forward to that shower in three days. And I've already said I'm gonna take two showers yes. that day. Definitely. One in the morning and then one before bed. Yes. <laughs> Mom's pool kebab is at it again. Let's see it. Ooh, baby. Doesn't look yummy. Don't eat it, don't eat it. We just passed the cutest golden retriever. His name was Ripley. So cute, so big, so fuzzy. So fluffy. So oh. if Ripley's family is watching this, hey, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Ripley made our day. Yes. So thank you so much. He's a good boy. Good boy. This is where we're at, we are 83.9 miles from Mount Katahdin, which is where we started eight days ago. <laughs> so we have gone almost 84 total miles on the Appalachian Trail in eight days. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> 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 
We made it to our first major water crossing. So we're wearing our Crocs and we're gonna cross it, but it's pretty wide. <laughs> Mom's going already. Fast current because of the, uh, the rain last night too. We're about halfway across. It's actually not too deep, but it's cold. If you stay off the big rocks and step on the small rocks, it's all right. <laughs> How's it feel? Lovely. <laughs> Four point five miles to go to our shelter for the night. They are all uphill. <laughs> There's a pond in about 1.2 miles that we're gonna try to stop at for lunch, but second half of the day, it's gonna be a lot tougher than the first. We're gonna stop for lunch. <laughs> the pond is like 0.4 up drill, so we're not gonna go to the pond. <laughs> we're just sitting at the top of this mountain, but it's beautiful up here. Another wonderful day. Mm, but we have 2.7 miles to our shelter tonight, but it's a lot of up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> but it's only one o'clock now, so we'll be able to get to our shelter nice and early again and get a lot of good sleep tonight. If this doesn't describe Maine so far, I don't know what does. So there's a blaze right there. It says go that way. So roots and rocks. Roots and rocks. There's a blaze right there in the middle. And then again at the top. We are going up there. <laughs> Made it to the top of Chairback Mountain. Beautiful. We're at Chairback Gap Lean 2. Getting settled in for the night, had a yummy dinner, Mexican rice with rehydrated vegetables that my sister made for us, Cindy. Thank you so much, Cindy. Uh, tonight I had green beans, sweet potatoes, and I think onion. Delicious. I had the same thing, uh, rice and potatoes. Today was a 10.3 mile day. Lots of up and down pretty much the entire day. Tomorrow's gonna be a little less than 11 miles or so. And then again, the same thing, lots of up and down, up and down, but three more days and then we'll be in Monson and we can shower. <laughs> Day eight, complete. Good morning. <laughs> Today is day nine. We both slept great last night. It was a wonderful, wonderful night, perfect temperature. Uh, today we're going to try to do 10.9 miles to get to Long Pond Stream. Mean to, the entire day is up or down. So um, our app far out says we have 2,500 feet of total ascent and 3,700 feet of total descent. So the entire day is a roller coaster of ups and downs. There's like never any flats. So it's going to be a long, tough day. And then tomorrow we should have another long day. And then the day after that is only three miles. And then we get to go into town in a monsoon. So almost done with the 100 mile wilderness. And we can't wait to be done with, with this stretch and resupply, take a little bit of a break in town. But today should be a really good day. This morning we have already gone one mile and it's all been straight uphill. So nothing will wake you up like some elevation gain in the morning. But do you want to talk a little bit about the people we've seen yeah. on trail? So we've been observing. It's kind of interesting that there's predominantly more men than women. Way more. So yesterday we saw... Um, two days ago. Two days ago, it was 27 men and three women. And yesterday was a little bit better odds. What was it yesterday, Greta? Eight men and three women. Yeah. So overwhelming majority is men, for sure. So if you're a woman or a girl watching this, and you're like, ah, should I hike the Appalachian Trail? Heck yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, do it. We need more representation out there and you can do it. Yeah. You can do it just like they can. Also, uh, I think it's the, uh, there, we see a number of older men, quite a bit older men, but I think 
I don't know, do you agree there that I've been the oldest woman we've seen? Probably, yeah. yeah. So, again, we are empowered women empowering women to get out here and hike. <laughs> yes, and um, just to talk other numbers, um, being we're on day nine now, for average daily calorie burn so far, I have burned about, I'd say 50, 5,200 calories average per day. My highest day was when we climbed Katahdin, burned 6,400 calories. So just in general, what there, a way to start, huh? yes, there is no way that you can eat that many calories a day. I don't care if it's Krispy Kreme donuts <laughs> all day, but it's, it's really hard to get those calories in. So that's why resupplies and town stops are so important to re-nourish your body and get some healthy calories in. I'm craving a salad, which is kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> and rest. We're also finding that um, 10 hours of sleep is not too much. Um, we go to bed pretty early. I think last night we were in our spots at 7.30. Probably fell asleep around 8, 8.15. Um, but then you wake up early, which is good because it's a lot cooler in the morning. It's supposed to be 84 degrees today. Yeah. So, And I'm sweating bullets already. Yeah, so it's going to be a long day up and down, but it's going to be a great day. Yeah. It's 6 30 in the morning the sun is still starting to rise but this is what we climbed to this morning it's beautiful <laughs> mom was going first this morning and doing her cobweb duties <laughs> try to switch off every day <laughs> So we're really happy today to get some of the elevation out of the way in the morning when it's a little bit cooler and we're not so tired. Um, it's one of the reasons that we're not getting a ton of mileage in. It is the reason why we're not getting a ton of mileage in. Um, we're used to hiking a lot farther than this in a day, but the ups and the downs are really slow. All the rocks and the roots are hard to navigate. So hopefully, as we get out of Maine, New Hampshire, um, we should be able to pick up our mileage. We've talked to people on the trail that have said 20 and 30 miles is not um, impossible once you're past uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so this is very indicative of the trail. So roots and rocks pretty much everywhere. And we're gonna go all the way up to the top up there. So that's part, part of the reason why <laughs> why um, we're not pushing as many mileage. Like I said, we're averaging around 11, but after we get out of the roots and rocks, we should be able to push hopefully at 20s and maybe even a couple 30 days. All the elevation changes in the north is also what makes going southbound so difficult. So we are doing SOBO, um, which is short for southbound. So starting in Maine at the top of Mount Katahdin and going south uh, towards Springer Mountain in Georgia. Um, the way more popular route is to go Novo or northbound. So starting in Springer Mountain, Georgia and heading northbound uh, to Mount Katahdin in Maine. But it's very difficult going Sobo because you start with the extreme elevation changes almost right away in Maine and New Hampshire, which is what pretty much all the Nobos that we've passed have said are the two hardest states as far as elevation, roots, rocks, difficult terrain, things like that going Novo is by far more common than going Sobo. Only about 10 to 20% of all through hikers of the Appalachian Trail go southbound, which is what we're doing. So definitely in the minority. Um, we will also end at Springer Mountain, Georgia at Amicalola Falls, which is just like a tiny little stone bridge um, next to the parking lot. But if you're Novo, you end on the top of Mount Katahdin, which is this grand, grand view. Um, the historic sign is there. Um, it's just this pinnacle of achievement um, with amazing views, um, which is a lot different than a stone arch in a parking lot <laughs> down south in Georgia. But hey, you do what you do with the schedule you got. Made it to the top of Third Mountain. view certainly speaks for itself today. We 
did it. So pretty. And at the top, the blessing of a breeze. <laughs> Soaking it in. We are stopped at a little stream here to fill up our water, um, to filter it. It's the last water source we have before getting to camp tonight, which is about five and a half more miles. Uh, we have quite a climb left. We have about 850 feet of ascent um, to get to the top of Barren Mountain. And then after that, a thousand feet of descent to get to our lean-to shelter tonight. Um, we either stop at the lean-to or another point one miles after that is a stream where people say it's a really good campsite. So. Uh, we'll see. How are you feeling? How's your body? Mm, okay <laughs> now, but tired. Um, yeah, we're tired. <laughs> ache in my knees still, feet are sore. But you know, it's gorgeous. Got to look at the big picture and keep our eye on the prize. So we'll do great. Yeah, one last big climb for the day today and then we'll be done. But um, little, about five and a half miles left to go today uh, to get to our lean-to. Our campsite just kind of depends. We are passing the 2100 mile mark. This is for the Novo hikers. So this means that we have 2194 minus this number. So we have gone 94 total miles, but pretty cool for the Novo hikers to see that they have less than 100 miles to go. We made it to the top of Barren Mountain. Woo! There's this fun little tower right here, but we are super high up. 2,670 feet. Beautiful. See pretty much everywhere around. So we have about, I don't know, a thousand feet decline or so uh, to get to our campsite for the night, but we're gonna stop, take a break, eat some lunch, because that was quite the climb to get up here. Yay, woohoo! Another successful day, woohoo! 11.2 miles, our first time self stealth camping. We're camping along Long Pond Stream. Mm -hmm. Yep, and stealth camping is where you just set up a tent at an undesignated area. So that is allowed here, so we are doing it here. There's a beautiful falls right there, and then the stream kind of continues that way. So also a beautiful white noise to fall asleep to. So we just have to put the rain fly on the tent, and then I'm gonna go soak in the stream. Yeah. Yay. Great day. Day nine, done. Check. Hey everybody, Ron here. As you know, I'm constantly following my wife and daughter, Susan and Greta, on the app trail. They're doing extremely well, and I'm just so proud of them. If there's anything you can do to send them uh, well wishes and encouragement or encouraging words, or uh, send additional funding, it would be all greatly appreciated. I'm gonna cut it short today. So my next item is the grill for, for the day. And this today is, why is Yankee Stadium the coolest place to be? Because it's full of fans. Greta and, and Sue have a great day on the trail and we'll talk to you tomorrow. And thanks to all of you for listening to me today. And if you would you know, communicate a little bit with them, I'd appreciate that. So with that, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.